Hey, good afternoon, guys. Tash coming at you. Friday, January the 6th, and we're just back uh, taking a look at this uh, ugly looking area on the uh, rear passenger or rear driver's side of the uh, 59 TR3A. And I think uh, this afternoon into the evening, we'll be looking at uh, trying to detach this um, spare tire pan from the bottom of the trunk pan so we can do some metal replacement on the uh, trunk floor pan to try to get this area looking a little bit better. So I think the first thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to actually do some sandblasting along this edge and to see if I can uh, expose some of the uh, spot weld locations that are holding that spare tire pan up to the uh, trunk floor pan. So uh, that's what we're going to do as a first thing today and see if we can uh, get that looking a little cleaner. Alright guys, we'll come back. Alright guys, quick update for you. This car is a mess. Anyway, we cut a uh, section of that floor out, as you can see, and we've exposed the flange that we need to repair. So, uh, I've done that so far, and scraps are down there. So what we're going to do now, is we're going to dr drill out the uh, bottom of this uh, wheel well tub uh, section that's sort of stuck on the bottom here. You can see the uh, spot welds that need to be uh, drilled out. So we're going to do that and remove that scab piece of metal and get that ready for repair. Alright guys, just coming up to about uh, 8 p.m. Cold outside tonight. I think it's about minus 12 out there. Nice and toasty in the garage. Got the heater on full blast and it's about 15 degrees Celsius out in the garage. So that's about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So nice and comfortable. So I'm not sure where I left off but uh, we're working on this area here and I've got a patch template made to go in here, but first we've got to replace this flange here. I've just managed to cut uh, this little bit of metal out here so we can uh, have something to fasten that new patch to. So we've got to uh, weld in a little piece of metal there first, and then we'll uh, endeavor to make this uh, patch, which will replace this piece of metal that uh, is all rusted out along the bottom. So. Uh, that's what we're planning on doing for this evening. So we'll get to it. Alright guys, coming up to quarter to ten. And just a quick update for you. So we've got that uh, patch panel welded in there and ground down. Still not uh, spot welded on the top. Or plug welded on the top. But uh, it's in and looking not too bad. So uh, another piece of the car down. It's one of those uh, nights tonight where, you know, you're just not motivated. And nothing's sort of going right in the garage and dropping stuff. and you got a mess out here to contend with and uh, you're just not motivated to be out here. So uh, I'm going to go in and I'm going to relax and rest a little bit and hopefully we'll get out here and have a better day tomorrow. That's it for now guys. We'll uh, talk to you tomorrow. Hey, good morning guys. Tush coming at you. Saturday morning, January the 7th. Just coming up to 11 o'clock. And we're out looking at this uh, rear driver's side section that's missing lots of bits. Anyway, I think what we'll do today for starters this morning is we'll uh, work on replacing this or repairing this flange up to here so then we can uh, move on to the uh, inner floor section. I'm not sure whether we'll do that today or whether we'll uh, maybe start working on this wheel arch repair. It's got to go all the way around like I did for the other side. So we'll see where the day takes us. We'll see how much uh, motivation we have today. Pulled a muscle in my... Uh, rear shoulder blade so that's slowing me down a little bit this morning so uh, we'll see how we do anyway the cold out here is not helping out it's about uh, minus 12 outside I think minus 16 with the wind chill so it's a little chilly in the garage today so I've got the heater on but it'll take a while to get it warmed up in here so uh, anyway we'll get to start and cutting that out alright guys I'll give you a quick update where we're at it's 12:15, uh, and we're kind of working on uh, multiple areas at the same time we're multitasking so we've got that flange cut off and I've just sandblasted the edge here just to expose the uh, clean metal and we'll uh, grind that up a little bit better before we weld in a new piece there. Again, I'm just trying to weld the flange on here. I don't want to replace the floor section yet, but I do want to replace the flange. Then we moved up here uh, and we started some work on the um, wheel well uh, section and you can see I've sandblasted uh, where the locations for the uh, cage nuts are just for reference. I've marked them there and on the top side of the uh, of the actual fender itself. So uh, the plan is that we're going to cut back to here 
Uh, I've exposed, um, again, sandblast at the edge here. We're going to have to drill out some spot welds along the flange here and along the top flange here. And we're going to cut that piece of metal out all the way up to about there. We're going to do the same repair type section that we did on the last, uh, on the other side. And this captive nut is, cap is actually a part of this piece here. So we'll actually weld on a captive nut behind this uh, panel once we fabricate it. So that's where we're at. Going to start drilling some uh, spot welds out here. And uh, we'll sort of release that section and uh, cut that out. So there's the update. Alright guys, quick update for you. Just uh, coming up to 240. had a visit from Crazy Les, so uh, that slowed me down a little bit, but it was nice to uh, have a cup of tea that uh, Les brought me, so that was nice. Anyway, um, making progress. Uh, basically removed this piece here, as we did on the other side, and we removed a bit of this flange piece here, and we're going to replace that. So, uh, that's where we're at. So we're going to clean up this edge. Probably break the sandblaster out again and clean up the inside while we're here and give that a quick uh, coat of primer. And we'll probably do the same for the uh, upper edges on the inside here before we uh, move forward and start replacing uh, cage nuts in this area. Alright guys, we'll come back. Alright guys, quick update for you. 5.30 and we've got that top flange uh, back on there. At least uh, the bottom half is on there. So now I've got to create this piece that goes back in there and then I've got to create another small piece to go in here. So we're going to work on making this large uh, patch and we'll weld the cage nut in that needs to go in the top part of it and we will put that in. So that's what we're working on now. Alright guys, so I think we're ready to uh, go ahead and weld that patch in. So we've got that area all cleaned up and ready to, uh, to go. We've got our patch made, we've got our uh, cage nut welded on. We've got it uh, zinc primed on the back, and we'll just slide that in there and uh, we'll weld it up. That's the next step. All right guys, just coming up to eight o'clock, and just a quick update before we go in for some dinner. So we've got uh, that patch uh, welded in there. Obviously not ground, but uh, I think it looks pretty good. So we're getting there slowly but surely. So we'll probably come out here a little later and uh, grind this down and we'll uh, continue to move on up into this area. And uh, it would be nice if I could make it up to here tonight, but uh, we'll see. Well, it depends on how quickly I can work. Again, I've got a bunch of lead in there, as you can see. Probably a seam here that I've got to get the lead out. But uh, that's it for now, guys. We'll uh, hopefully get out here a little bit more tonight after we have some dinner. All right guys, that's it for now. All right, just after nine o'clock and we had a quick break and we we're gonna come out and do another hour or so. So we'll hopefully wrap this up around 10 o'clock, but uh, we're gonna work on this section and see if we can, like I said, if I can make it up to around where this lead is. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on getting another cage nut in here and I'm going to work on, uh, once I get that cage nut in, I'm going to work on overlapping, uh, fixing this piece and putting the overlapping flange back uh, where it should be uh, from about here back to here. So that's the plan. So we'll see how we do. Well guys, I think we're going to call it a night. Uh, we're having a bit of a challenge actually on this little area here. I need to review some video. Um, I know that this area at the top, this flange came over and folded over this area. And I remember that there was a uh, sort of a cutout around this cage nut. But I'm going to have to review my video to figure out exactly where this patch needs to go and if, how, you know, how far this bottom flange needs to come up. I think it may go across and then up here uh, and then continue on the full length, but I'm not sure. So. I'm going to have to go and review my video and uh, some still pho photograph to see uh, where we're at on that because I can't remember. So we're going to call it a night here and uh, we'll figure that out and we'll get back out here and we'll complete this area tomorrow. Alright guys, have a good night. Thanks for watching.